I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I! Shadow! We need you! Please help us! It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shadow, I beg of you, please, do it for me. For Maria! The future, for all people who live on that planet, give them a chance to be happy. Let them live for their dreams. Shadow, I know you can do it. That's the reason why you were brought into this world. Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog. I promised her. I must keep that promise. That's Shadow? what you wished for. I've got to go now. I have to keep my promise to Maria and you. Just like the shrine of the Master Emerald. They probably designed the core like the shrine to harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Time to fight the Bio Lizard, the prototype of the ultimate life form. And I guess his name is Shadow. You could technically call them biological brothers. Huh. Two brothers, rivals, one, some psychic, supernatural cyber freak, and the other, much more kind of semi natural and taking on a dark side. Hmm, maybe Overwatch had more references to uh, older games than I thought. Anyway, this is the final boss fight for Shadow. It's no longer a rival. It is, of course, him himself, almost. The way he works is you've got to run away from his mouth and his tail until he makes himself vulnerable, naturally. You will see him when he is vulnerable by his glowing railings, which will obviously glow, allowing you to grind towards him and attack his big old bad back button. Otherwise, you've got to be careful of his actual Shadow Balls. That's nice and easy. Jump and somersault, and that's how you get through. Bam! Now, yes, this is Shadow before Shadow was fully completed. This was Gerald Robotnik's downfall. This is what caused the Space Colony arc to be destroyed in the first place. They didn't want this guy falling into the wrong hand. But Shadow was all right. Or maybe Shadow just escaped and they never kept searching for him anymore. Oh, no, they, f they found him, and he was in a, a gun place, hence why... Eggman had to get him out. Okay, no mind, that makes sense. Ooh. Oh, I dodged that? Okay. Ooh. Oh my god, how many more have you got, buddy? I also like how he just gives us his railing, like he just sort of aims for it as if he wants it, but BAM! Oh well. Also, the guy sounds like a lion. Wow! Well, that did not sound like a lion, but you know what I mean. 
Now do be careful, there are occasional blips in the battleground. If you can tell where you are, that is very helpful, using the background as I acknowledge with the, the big Metroid looking thing and the Master Emerald Shrine and a path that has no indication that that's the path. But otherwise, cool. Ouch. I do like how he pauses though if he hurt you. Hup. Wah. Wah. Oh. Uh, it's, it's basically like bop it, except if you press A or B. Wah. Huh. Any more? Second phase. Here's his psychic part. You now need to use these balls to get up to the guy, because he's not going to give you his railings anymore. But you can't just homing attack onto any of them, as I'm slowly learning. Only the ones that attack you back? No. You're supposed to homing attack them. There you go. They give you the height you need, and I'm just not doing well. Can we find any extra rings? I need them. Thank you. Okay, let's try again. This one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. Lordy. Never have that much issue with that kind of phase, but apparently it might be this time. He will turn both ways. Don't worry about it too much. Otherwise, there's not too much else to say. I don't even have much of a story with this as a kid. I just got enveloped in the ending, loved it a lot, and had a lot of fun with it. I don't know. Just very good. Also, I'm surprised that it took Shadow this long to realize that, you know, Maria wanted not revenge, because she seemed pretty nice in the memories the whole time, and was saying, for the benefit of all hu those humans. So, like, she probably was meant to say something nice, but oh well. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bash Shadow's memories. Maybe Gerald Robotnik made them, like, made him, pro reprogrammed him to think he was more of an evil type, that Maria wanted that or something. I don't know. He was Shadow was designed to benefit mankind, as was the prototype, I believe. It's just something went wrong and they both fought for evil. I don't know. Either way, the prototype is now here as its final re request beyond being just the prototype of Shadow and potentially killing me. I'm just going to not even attack this time and get hit by invisibility tails. Okay, never mind. The prototype's task is to make sure that the space colony successfully crashes onto Earth. That is his second role. As you can see, I'm in concentration mode. Oh, it's this form again. Alright, maybe we're not fully back, but you get what's going on. This version of the run's going along. Hmm. You know what? Ignore what I was going to say anything. Because I wasn't. Right? I wasn't. A homing attack never clicks to the one I want. <laughs> Case in point right there. Like, look at that. What was that? Mode. Oh, there we go. Chewing forward and it just was like, I'm going to touch every single one. <laughs> Okay, I'm also being a lot more cautious with my rings. Oh, immediately second phase. Here we go then. Now we just need to get close to the thing, avoiding damage. You know what? I don't think this is possible for me. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! And that is the six-man team done. Get out, you ugly prototype. Get out, you ugly prototype. Servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power is enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. Only you can do this. Stop the chaos emeralds! Stop the Chaos Emeralds. Why is the space colony still on a crash course to Earth? Sonic?
no, I'm actually not very good at this battle, so we'll see how it goes. We are Super Sonic Shadow and Super Shadow. Keep him busy for a while. Where does he get all that power? There's gonna be a lot of talking, so I not be talk not be talking as much. Apparently, I didn't press it while I was mashing a button. Ah, it's because I'm mashing it. That's exactly why, though. I need to be holding it. There we go. You can see he's taken damage. Now it's up to you, Sonic. Shadow, you need rest. Let me give it a try. Sonic, we're in danger. The colony will enter the atmosphere in about four minutes. He's got sweat, uh, breaks in his skin, and, uh, his railings are broken, and we just want to get into his swelling. Come on. Why am I doing so bad? Oh, he gets more and more defense as you go, and you've got 40 seconds as each character before you lose your abilities. Thankfully, his defense is slowly going away with in this form. I'm just the wrong button. Come on. Bam! The red swelling is Okay, getting more and more lasers, becoming more and more diverse with his attacks. Like, look at this, this is cool. Every time you get hit, you get blasted all the way back, like so, giving you less and less time. Don't fail. That's all I gotta say. I have a lot of trouble with this, so we'll see. Oh, his lasers are gone, he's gone into this mode, which is technically easy to me. He won't let me look and turn around the camera, but alright. I like how they're on opposite sides of the guy. It's almost like they're finding him at once, even though it's not quite true. I guess they're actually getting a, a rest. You can see how much time you have by how many rings you have. Oh, this ain't going well. What am I doing? What's going wrong? Where are they even hitting from? Damn it! What a horrible death. Even though they can breathe in space. And he went away from Earth, so who knows what his problem was. I guess he got stuck on the colony. Is there actually a button to switch characters? Because I never actually noticed that there was. Oh, we usually have 50, but now we're getting 40, I see. So it is still... I just didn't notice that last time. BAM! When you're close, you can press the button again and you'll do a boost towards it. But don't mash it, because then you immediately lose again and then just get hurt by it. Final move, Shadow the Hedgehog. I never worked out if there was another button to change. And BAM! The final hazard is down. The colony is no longer getting any closer. How do you move such a large object back? I must destroy all the evil the professor has created. This is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you.
Where is Shadow? Do you really think that the Professor created him, oh Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess you're right. As a child, I looked up to my grandfather because of all the great things he accomplished in his life. He was my hero, and I wanted to be a great scientist like him. But... Did he really mean to destroy us? I don't know, but what I do know is... We all did it together! You're right. So what's next for you, Rouge? Off again to find those jewels you love so much? Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work for too little pay. Anyway, I've got something better than jewels that I'm thinking about right now. It'll all work out, you'll see. If you say so. Created the ultimate life form. What's the matter, Sonic? Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let's go home. Dude, the planet is cool and blue as me. Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog. I like this game. I like this game a lot. I don't know why. It has major issues. But there was something I realized as I was going through the production of this Let's Play. I, uh, through all of the hero story, I hadn't done any editing. I just sort of did the recording, and it was only till I got like halfway through the uh, dark story that I actually started editing the first few videos and bringing them out. And I realized I really kind of put my heart and soul into this game a little bit. As much as I didn't do 100%, I didn't do a crazy dumb amount of research, I still just like, this was the let's play that I was driving to do at every moment. Like when I was editing it, I was watching it not even sped up at all. I was just watching it normal speed, wanting to tweak and change every little bit. There wasn't a ton of editing I was doing, it was mostly just um, moving the chow gun stuff to the end for a bonus video that will be coming out tomorrow, and uh, cutting out the loading screens to go nicely with the rest of the video. But I just... something about it was like, I was so invested in making this Let's Play, it made me realise that I really, really enjoyed my time. Because I just... I don't know, the full experience, I was just overjoyed to play. Whether it's because it wasn't blind and it was one of my other childhood games and I haven't covered one of those in months, I don't know. I think at this point I probably have played all of my childhood games pretty much, most of them, so hopefully I'll get this kind of buzz again for another game, but it's been a while and I've, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. A new day brings new adventure. But for now, Rest easy, heroes. Okay, and that is us done. I'm not gonna be giving us a hint for the next Let's Play simply because I don't even know what it is myself yet. We'll have to see where I am at the time, but to give you a sneak peek of the stage, stage select, select, suddenly there's a whole lot of stuff going on, and you can see all the different types of uh, 
missions that there are in the corner, even though we haven't unlocked basically any. But you can see we've been all over the world, from city to desert to very suddenly space. Didn't you know that the desert just immediately cuts off into space? Yeah, it's true. But anyway, yes, on that note, I'm going to finally, finally end it off here. Because all three are done. For now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.